Noon, we are learning brand new details about the murder of an executive from Mass Mutual. Melissa Milan was stabbed to death on a jogging trail in Simsbury nearly four years ago. It's a case that stunned the community, and now the man accused of killing her is about to face a judge. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kara Sundland. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eva Zamaris is live now at Enfield Superior Court with new details. Eva? Well, good afternoon to you, Kara. All of this new information is outlined in documents that we just picked up here in court. Now, it was back in November of 2014 that 54-year-old Melissa Milan was stabbed to death on Iron Horse Boulevard in Simsbury, directly adjacent to a paved trail used for things like walking, jogging, and biking. She was out for a run and was several miles away from home at the time of the incident. According to these newly obtained court documents, 27-year-old William Leverett went to the Simsbury Police department last Wednesday and said he wanted to speak with someone regarding the murder that quote happened a few years ago. This affidavit details Leverett's hours long interviews with investigators, including him telling police this all started after he attended a sex offenders therapy group in Hartford. He told police he returned home and was lonely. He wanted to go for a walk along the path in the hopes of finding someone. That's when, according to these documents, he saw Milan. Mr. Leverett claimed that he only wanted a chance to speak with her, but that something happened, and the next thing he knew, he stabbed her in the chest with the knife he was carrying. According to these documents, Leverett panicked, fled from the scene, and made every attempt to clean his clothes, discard the knife, and ditch gloves. Now, one of those gloves, with Leverett's help, was recovered last Thursday. It's just scary to think that, like, this is such a safe town and we could just be walking down and like something like that could happen. Just knowing definitely gives a sense of closure. Now, according to these documents, Leverett was also able to describe what Milan was wearing the, that night and was able to recreate what happened to investigators. Again, he is expected to face a judge any minute now. We are also planning to hear from Simsbury Police a little later this afternoon. So stay with us not only on air, but also on our Channel 3 app for the very latest on this story. And of course, we will have much more on the story coming up tonight on Eyewitness News starting at 5. Live in Enfield this afternoon, I'm Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.